Okay, welcome back to the second part. This is why we call it the wet coast. Everything stays so green here. We're traveling down Paradise Valley Road. It's just off of the Squamish Valley Road. We're going looking for eagles. We ran into a photographer gentleman down at uh, one of the stop, that last stop we're at, and he sent us out here to the middle of nowhere. I realized. <laughs> We're going away from the river, and there won't be eagles away from the river, so we're heading back to the river. How many times can I say river in one little... <gasps> oh, the sun on my face. Feels like a good day to be lost. <laughs> kind of feels about right. What? <laughs> A couple of these signs along the way about filming. We're gonna go check it out. So it says that there'll be filming and delays on the Saturday and Sunday. I wonder what they're filming for. Hey Goldberg, you wanna be in a movie? Well, Scott disappeared. <laughs> he was pointing left, he was pointing right. Look up there! So uh yeah. Let's uh, go find him. We need to keep this guy a little closer because we've definitely found eagles. This one's hanging out with a, a young one that just flew away. Hasn't quite got its white head yet. I think that's Mama Bear. Saw a good 10, 12 eagles today. Uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get a couple shots from Scotty because he got really close. I got interrupted on the phone calls, okay? <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go check out one more spot before we uh, head her back towards town. So, didn't that look like a fun, exciting thing to do? To jump on a raft and go down the river see how many eagles you can find along the way look at that sky eh Whoa. Just a couple shots. Anyways, they're right above us here. Hey, right, Skull. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I need to go do something. I think it's time for us to go. It's Scott from Scotland, the eagle hunter. Yeah, we're pretty blessed to live out here on the West Coast. All the green, the streams flowing. We had eagles that we watched today. Everything was really fun. And it was like peaceful and serene. And so in the moment, it just was amazing. So 
I got a phone call from a special person, and uh, we're going to head somewhere and meet up with them. So tag along, watch these beautiful mountains, and uh, yeah, let's get going. So uh, we're at Porto Cove, uh, south of Squamish, north of uh, North Vancouver, West Vancouver. And uh, I'm gonna hang out here for a couple days because I got a phone call from a friend of mine. He says, come on up, we're gonna hang out. And I said, okay. Yeah, so um, Jeff gave me a call this morning. He said, uh, he's coming out here and I thought it was a great idea. So I come out to hang out here and usually when I'm places like this, I like to try to relax and Take care of some of the things I've been putting off. So, and uh, when I had the um, when I had the uh, boards and the foam in, I actually drew along the bottom of the doors because, well, they were perfect before. But um, when you add that foam, it's gonna make a difference. So, pull out some clamps and pull out a saw, and uh, yeah, let's get to work. the doors off there they are there ta-da I was just simply uh, reinstalling them and um, yeah we can start putting the floor back in warm floor in the morning so Scotty showed up with some wood prepping it we're gonna have a nice big fire tonight and I think the sun's going down so, we have insulated flooring, and I bought another pack, and hopefully finish it off soon. So a nice productive day today. Might check out the Eagles. Um, hooked up with Jeffy. Uh, got my floor laid, and we're sitting around a campfire at Porto Cove. Couple visitors to the camp. They must have smelt our chicken. We'll see you in the morning. <laughs> 